Welcome to day 22 of creating an iPhone game in 30 days. Not long left now, and I'm sorry I haven't done an update in such a long time. But I have been hard at work on the game, which is the good news. Okay, I will show you it running and what it looks like at the moment. Um, in a moment, as such. Um, but I just want to discuss quickly what I've been actually doing. Um, the game has changed its name. It was going to be called Go Go Arcade after the initial theme changed originally um, but now the idea has evolved so much it's having a a more fuller name it's going to be called Go Go Apocalypse and the reason for this it now has a full-fledged story going through the game um, it's got some beautiful art for um, the human characters which interact with each other um, and help along Go Go and Go Go helps them as such um, and also these characters are going to be fully voice acted which has been fully recorded now um, by various people who are very talented um, thankfully um, but I won't be showing you that today uh, what I'm going to do after this um, video today there will be obviously seven days left and I'm going to do a video each day and I'm going to show you at least one new feature which you will see in this game running on the phone and a little discussion about how that will work um, Feel free to leave comments if you want to try and sneak in sync before the game launches. Um, no promises, but I'm happy to hear. Anyway, let's give you a quick show now of how the game looks now. Okay, let's see how, look how it's progressing. Okay, the icon and the name is still the same here at the bottom, but we'll click here to launch it. Bring up the loading screen. Also, a small note, it's now running in full screen before I had the status bar. Which takes us to the temporary main screen. And what I should note at this point, all the art here you see is official. Um, it's titled Go Go Apocalypse. On the main game, you're going to have three modes normal difficulty, hard difficulty, and a pro difficulty. Um, but for today, I have a hidden one here, uh, which I can use to demonstrate um, just the main features quickly. Okay, the controls have changed slightly since I last shown you. Again, you're this character here called Gogo, and you can control him by tilting the phone left to make him spin um, faster to that direction, and tilt it right slightly to make him go slightly or at slow right and more to the fast right. And you hold the phone completely flat to stop him. Okay, and to go forwards, which we need to know because someone's about to try and attack us. We tilt the phone forwards and you accelerate. And more importantly now, when you put the phone back flat, you break, which you didn't before. Immediate breaks. And the idea is for Gogo, our eye character on the board here, to collect these crystals, slightly transparent crystals. And obviously you do this by controlling him. We'll say it's a bit harder here because I'm holding the camera and the phone, but you'll see you have very tight controls now and see even on just using one hand they can maneuver through enemies and collect these crystals hopefully there we go and see I just hit that blue guy uh, which means it's game over shows you how many points you scored gives you a chance to put in your name click on the name tab and a keyboard should come up Return and it should go. Okay, I didn't actually make the board. Okay, on the full game though, um, you don't play it like an arcade like I've shown you here. Um, once you've selected your difficulty, you're going to see a cutscene um, which will be voice acted and animated, uh, still with stills at least. Um, and I'll show you what's going on in the story um, and then it will jump you onto a certain arena um, with certain enemies. Um, and you have to collect those crystals as such to aid your human partners in defeating a bigger foe. But more on this on the week to come. Hope you've enjoyed watching, and obviously after this challenge is finished, I'll take out some, or write some documentation on how this game was made, um, to, on a basic level, obviously applying with the Apple's SDK rules and blah blah blah. Thanks for watching once more.